but how do you feel about the back half after three games and, and what and potentially uh, what you're going to see here in the Big Ten season? I think we're fitting the runs better, um, particularly last week, really last two weeks. I think we're fitting the runs pretty good. I, you know, we still have a ways to go in terms of fitting the passes. It's really a similar thing. Um, so we just need to increase our discipline in terms of uh, pass defense. What about Jamari Brown? He kind of got a baptism about the, by fire last weekend. Um, talk about what you thought about his performance. Well, he played a lot of football now in Kentucky. I mean, he played. He, he's been in the big league, so he, he did. You know what he did? He finished reps, and because he finished reps, he had some success. And um, he should got to keep growing. And, but he played. He played good. I thought he competed, and I thought he finished, and that's the most important thing, because he had had some. To me, uh, been challenged a little bit that way, in terms of not doing those things consistently. So I, I felt good about it. Just overall, I mean, you don't have a lot of depth at cornerback, Ron. I mean, yeah. Anthony Rom. Yeah. Jeff said Cam Allen played a little bit of cornerback for yeah. you. Yeah. So, so who would be that third cornerback if you had to had, had, had to tap that guy on the shoulder? <laughs> you know better, but we're working some guys there. We'll be prepared. We're ready when it comes if we need it. You seriously can't play some corner? He did against Connecticut, didn't he? I thought he was he out did. there, right? Yeah, he played a little bit against Connecticut. So he gives us an option, you know, Cam, obviously, bro. All three of those guys. What about so we're just trying to get them ready. What about the safety spot? I mean, you have to be pleased with being Cam and Marvin, especially really seeing his first extended duty since he's gotten here. Yeah, you know, they're just, you forget that they're young players, man. They're young, and they, sometimes it's, the first time, you know, it's a different thing, and it's the first time. And uh, but what I like about those guys is they do like football, and they do work at football, and they finish reps, and they play hard, and um, they're getting better. So uh, we got a long ways to go. They can be really good players. They need to play football. It's particularly Marvin, but even Cam, you know, he needs to play football. But they're getting better. They're getting better. Uh, with Corey Trice, just. Obviously, being out, um, how has he kind of stepped up just in practice uh, as you know a leader in terms of drills? You know, helping other guys kind of you know prepare for weeks ahead. Well, he's involved and he has always had a good demeanor since I've been here. So he likes to help guys, right. and he likes football. He, he really likes football, so he spends time with it. So it's not like he's just out here, you know, looking around. <laughs> you know what I mean? Seriously, some guys are you know they get distracted. He's not one of those guys. He helps. Yeah. Uh, looking ahead to Illinois, uh, so last week Illinois had a fourth and one situation in the fourth quarter when leading and punted instead of going for it. If it was you in that situation, what would you have been hoping that they would have done? <laughs> kind of picking your brain you mean right if now. I was on defense? Yes, if you were on defense, like, are you hoping they punt or are you hoping they go for it? What are you hoping? I know you're hoping they punt, right? I'm hoping they punt, but maybe right. maybe you want them to go for it. And stop you know them, huh? Will stop it. Yeah, because then you get field position. I hope they go for it and our defense stops them and we get field position. I like that. <laughs> so how? So to kind of go off of like the analytics and that stuff, how big are you into analytics? You know what? Not as big as I need to be. Not as, I'm, And I'm not saying that facetiously. Not as mm -hmm. big as I – because I think there's a place for it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So what, what, what did the analytics say? Well, the analytics they should have gone place. for it, right? Yes, sir. Right. Mm -hmm. Yep. And so I guess to go off of that, how does analytics play a part in how you help teach the defense? Well, really how analytics plays a part for us, we, we don't necessarily call it analytics, but, you know, when we break a team down, it's all based on numbers, right, mm -hmm. and percentages and those things. And in fact, I would assume that's analytics, right? Yep. That's how it plays a role in what we do. All right. What do you think of the new quarterback, Brandon Peters? What strengths and weaknesses have you identified through film so far? Well, I think they're competitive. Those, you know, he's played a little bit and runs around a little bit. And I think that Illinois has talent, just like any Big Ten team. So if you, they, they're going to come in here and play. Uh, all these Big Ten kids like playing. They all have great characters. So when they show up, they're going to show up. And so uh, I expect to get their best, and, and uh, I expect us to give them our best. Have you identified any problems he may cause our defense? I mean, we we got to worry about us, to be honest with you. We've kind of always been that way, so I have at least. So 
you know, we need to execute better in terms of pass defense, right? We need to continue to fit the runs. We need to finish plays. We, you know, we, we have a great game going last week, and we let that run out. I mean, the guy, I think they had 53 yards on 27 carries against a really good back. Uh, so we're still growing as a defense, but the attitude here and uh, the uh, demeanor, right, and the energy defensively, these guys are really starting to believe in themselves and they like each other, and so we just got to keep growing. Awesome. Has, yep. Has the, the cooperation and the, kind of the weekly routine that the de defensive coaches have settled into, is that, is that something that you feel like is really working behind the scenes? And what, you know, kind of what was, that was Jeff's main emphasis when he hired all you guys for that to be a kind of a smooth process. We've got a lot of pros here. We don't, you right. know, they're very, we don't have any amateurs. So, no, I'm not saying that like we're, you know, God's gift, but I am saying that we've been in this profession and know how to handle it. And so, uh, yes, but to answer your question, you know, it is a work in progress in the sense that first week, what to expect second week. Well, now it's kind of getting smoothed out and, and it's been it's been fun. It's been really fun. And I think we all, you know, you got guys who aren't egotistical. And so that makes it fun too.